So oh. we wanted to ask people who are watching my personal YouTube channel what they would think of you having a weekly YouTube. Is that what you're saying? Um, well, I thought you would be involved. <laughs> so well, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. the two of us. Yeah. Okay, so tune in next week. You guys week. who know who Laverne is because she had the elf ear or Vulcan ear. I'm not sure what we called it, but she, <laughs> she pointed had ears. the pointed ear that got that got fixed. Anyway, that Laverne that you guys loved on the Auburn Medical Group channel. Tell us what you would want to see of Laverne if she was to do a weekly YouTube with me. What would you want us to do? Just talk, or is there some kind of activity you'd want to see, or would you want to meet all of Laverne's friends? I or... have no friends. <laughs> See, see, she, she needs you no guys. So, friends. let us know what you would think. <laughs> you over here by the sink. Oh, we have to be by the sink. Oh, we have to be standing. Okay. We'll see here. Oh boy. These are some nuts out of the calves, and then I'm going to show you how to clean them and take the meat out, and then that's what you fry and cook. Okay. You give me a lot. Hmm. That's enough for the whole family. No, you want a great big pan full because they're only little when they come out of there. Them shells is pretty good size. Here, let me show you. Okay, so people would recognize you, Marge, from a video uh, where we did exploratory surgery on your left thigh. See, yeah, right there. Where it's still sore. It's still sore, sorry. <laughs> it's, uh, but during that video, you described how you Yes. Castrate the goats and goats. the cows. Well, no. yeah. So then, after you wash them and clean them, see they're clean. They're in a sack. Then you just take and get a hold of them, and you just slice down like that. And then you just take your fingers and you roll that meat out like that. And that's what you fry up, is that center meat. Oop, I'm dripping. All right, do another one here. So you're cutting right into the testicle. Yeah, right, Sue, to kind of like half it. And that's the goodie. You take in your salt and pepper, put that in a little flour, and then you put it in a cast iron pan with bacon grease if you have it, if not oil. And you fry it good and crispy, and they are delicious, and they are very, very rich. You can't eat a whole great big gob of them. And the cats love the shells. Okay, so we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to convince Leanne. To well, <laughs> cook and show day and include that part in it. Well, but this is about the last I'll have of these because I've only got six more cows out in the mountains. And I've already ate them all. <laughs> oh, they're that good. Okay. They're that good. The neighbor got in on a few of them one day, but I eat the rest of them. So you're talking about using your teeth to actually remove these from the animal. You didn't do that with these, though. No, because you don't on calves. You did on sheep, or you could on little goats. Okay. Because they're little bitty nuts. Okay. In fact, the little goat nuts you can't hardly eat unless you wait until they get older and they get bigger. Oh, they're that small. Yeah, they're too small. A hey, patient. Um, well, you already saw that Marge brought us the um, bovine testicles. Uh, but another patient brought a food item. The best part was that you had to pause to make sure that testicles were appropriate to say on your uh, vlog. <laughs> <laughs> another patient uh, who, who yeah, I won't say anything more, uh, also brought um, dried persimmons. Dried bovine persimmons? No, they're not bovine persimmons. So let's prepare Marge's delicacies. I believe there were six of them in here. Christina was showing me that she saw a hair. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> There's a hair in our delicacy. I'll have to pick that out. So I think there's six of them. They came from some young calves that Marge castrated. She said she didn't actually use her teeth on these calves. So before we do that, we need to have some bacon grease that takes 
frying some bacon. This will not be a low fat, low sodium meal as the doctor is recommending to many patients. Uh, so we have some flour and I'm putting in it some Himalayan pink salt and some Tella Cherry black pepper grinder. At least I'm not putting the grinder in, I'm using the grinder. I don't know the source of the hair, whether it was from one of the cows or from the mustache of somebody getting the delicacy. I'll just drop them all in. One. Did she prepare them for me? Yeah, she cut them out. Oh, okay. Two. On camera. Three, four, well that's a good one there, five, six, seven, I don't know if these are whole, some of them may be parts, eight, nine, thinking of all the people who I wish could be here joining us, all the family and friends and YouTube friends. Thinking of my parents, Leanne's parents, Leanne's sisters and their families, and my brothers and their families, and Dr. Gwen and his kids, and Shelly. All these people that we could share this with. Thinking of our friends on YouTube, people like Claire Westmoreland, Boo Boo Kitty, Lisa, uh, Lindsay Antwine. Okay, this is getting exciting. We're about to put in the delicacy. All right. Here we go. Until they're done. Not long. Come on over. Kids react. No. Bovine testicle. Yeah. A little cat lost its manhood for you guys to enjoy this meal. I'm not gonna eat it. I don't know. So we're gonna call Yeah. 
chest got done. Dear Jesus, thank you for the interesting food we get to try, for the blessings you give us. Please be with James and Amanda and care as they're away from us. In Jesus' name, amen. Wait, okay. what is the food? What is this? Yeah. It is the testicle of a cow. Well, of several cows. Why? Because the patient brought them for me. <laughs> or that would be one oddly like, shaped cow. Like, type thing? No. Just no, not drive. this time. Same people, though? No. No, different people. They moved. Wait, do you let anybody pay with the food? The ones had to yeah. somebody pay with... Oh, yeah, when we got the deer and the elk meat. Do you remember that several years ago? Here it is. Here it is. Because it's breaded like that and fried like that, it's not that much different than when we prepare fresh fish out of the lake. Okay, I also want this one. I'll have one of the hard ones. Like, how gross is it? I wouldn't call it gross. No, no, this one's really, no, really crispy. Well. I'll share one with you. <laughs> I what? feel like Rhett and Link. Which one of us is going to start gagging? It's not. It's the thought of it. That's, that's good for, makes for good video, but. Okay, wait, what do we do? <laughs> Should we just do one, two, three, and then chew it? Dink it and sink it. Dink it? What does that mean? Chink it. Oh. Dink it. Dink it. Where? Really? She's overreacting. I think she's. It looks just... like mush. In the oh, middle. should I have done it more? Well, no, I don't know if that would have made it more or less. It's just the texture. It was very crispy on the outside and mushy on the inside. Honestly, we probably eat that part of cows all the time and don't even know it. Well, it could be in this sausage right here. As far as texture, mm -hmm. I think it's more normal than the sausage. Mm -hmm. I think I want to let strap too. Oh, let me see what Queen said. The boys will be going to bed soon. If nobody partakes with you, I guess they can come over. No, there's there's only one left. And I think I want it. Oh, there's his left. Hmm? So. Oh. Oops. We can save this one for him if, if he really, really, really wants to. Thanks for watching Vlogtober day number 27. Now, if you have not yet subscribed, be sure to click over here so that you can be subscribed to the Dr. Vaughn channel so you can catch any videos like this, like the Vlogtober that we did this year. Also, you can watch the entire Vlogtober sequence without interruption by clicking on the link here. So, until tomorrow, Vlogtober number 28, see ya.